been created in the wall to allow drainage of flood water onto the beach. One has to wonder, however, where any flood water is supposed to escape to. Because obviously, if it comes out onto the beach, it has got to flood everywhere until it gets to a height where it can cross the beach and escape seaward. Here we see the sighting of the second new drainage provision. Again, one has to ask where does the water go with the beach, but immediately beside this hole, you find a large depression in the ground and one wonders where the water goes once it flows in there. Does it simply f flow back into the yards alongside? It certainly has to fill a lot of area before it can raise the water level up sufficiently to be able to escape seaward across the beach. And finally, we have the token drainage point from the yard at 32 High Street. Again, well below the level of the shingle bank and no possibility of water escaping seaward at all. When we have a closer look at it, we see that it is released into this natural depression that runs the whole length of the wall behind the whole old town. And any water escaping will have to fill that depression along the length of the wall and, re and raise in level probably higher than the exit pipe before it reaches a level sufficient to pass across the beach and escape seaward. The whole exercise, unless there are pipes laid through the beach to let the water away, is purely farcical. I don't know who they thought these token pipes was going to satisfy, but they have just been a complete and utter waste of time and money installing them. At the mouth of the river today we can see we have a heavy sea running again. But the waves do not enter the river. They pile up at the river mouth, competing with the water flowing out, but do not go up the river and cause problems. What does cause the problem is when the river gathers momentum as it flows into the sea and is then suddenly arrested by meeting the sea level and it pushes the water trying to escape, piles up, becomes higher than the water in the channel and suddenly reverses direction and we are faced with a solid wave going up the river. There are long periods with no wave generation at all, but if the condition gets right, we can get fairly major waves suddenly appearing and flowing up the river.